What's up, guys? How's it going? This video is going to be about the Nintendo press conference that's coming on January 12th, 2017, where Nintendo's promising to unveil a lot of details about the Nintendo Switch. And I really want to um, give my thoughts on this and how excited I am. I mean, I can't wait to see this uh, press conference. Um, and I might do a, a live event with a couple of my buddies um, just to uh, record our, our live reactions to this press conference. They are still hiding uh, features that the Nintendo Switch can do. And for good reason, I think uh, they don't want, really want to confuse people. And I don't think they want to scare away people either with uh, something maybe that new that they're working on and something that we haven't seen before. I mean, I could be wrong, and the feature can be something we have seen before, but I don't know. I, I don't think I don't think that's that's the thing. Uh, I think Nintendo has uh, something up their sleeves for sure, and what it is, uh, I don't know. I can only imagine what it, what it can be, and uh, maybe some type of AR feature, some new uh, AR feature, maybe. You know, a holograph, holographic AR feature that they're hiding uh, from one of the patents that I was looking at uh, could be that, but we don't know. We we really don't know, and we won't find out until January 12th, unless there's some leak that comes out before then. But I don't think there's going to be a leak this time, and uh, that just makes me even more excited because I, I can't wait to see what Nintendo really has. Um, for us but other than the hidden features that they're going to show off to us uh, for sure they're going to show us a software lineup uh, third-party software lineup and a first-party software lineup because uh, it's all about the games you know and, and that's how you get people that's how you uh, really reel people in is, is you show them that you have the games and that's what Nintendo has to do is, is show people that they have the games that you want to play on their console and hey you can play them anywhere you want. You don't have to use your TV, you know, and, and that's a great selling point for them that they can use, uh, you know, you know, switch from the Xbox or the PlayStation to our console because A, B, and C, you know. Um, they really have to convince people. Uh, you know, a lot of us already own Xbox Ones and Playstations. I, I own an Xbox One S and a PlayStation 4, and... Of course, I'm getting the Nintendo Switch day one, but there are people out there that, you know, uh, what's the point, you know, that that's that's their main concern. It's like, oh, well, what's the point of me switching over to Nintendo? I don't really play Nintendo games. All I play is Call of Duty or all I play is uh, Madden or all I play is uh, NBA 2K. Um, and, you know, it, you, the concept to them, it's it's interesting. I mean, being able to take your, you know, your Madden or your 2K on the go and play with some buddies and not, you know, be able to uh, just be stuck at home with it. But I know I was talking to one guy who said, you know, that if they don't have the games and they don't have the online features, then he's not getting it. And... That's something Nintendo has to bring, you know. Uh, they have to bring the games and bring the online features because if they don't have a strong online uh, feature like an Xbox Live or a PlayStation Network type online service, then they might be dead in the water with uh, a lot of people who like to play online. And they, a lot of people like to play Call of Duty or, or uh, you know, NBA or Madden online. And if the features aren't there, then the Nintendo Switch is going to struggle selling to these people that really want an online community to play with. And it has to be, has to be very intuitive. Um, it can't be complicated, like having friend codes and, and all that, you know, like how the Wii U and the, the Nintendo 3DS does. Um, and that makes, it, that makes it harder for people who, who just want a streamlined online service that's easy to use and uh, easy to play with your friends because that's all it is, is they, they want to be able to play with their friends. So Nintendo really has to bring that. 
And uh, other than that, I mean, they're going to have the first party games for sure. And I, I'm sure they're going to most likely reveal uh, that new Mario game that we got a glimpse of in the Nintendo Switch trailer. And uh, the, uh, the new Mario Kart that they showed off, which I think it's a new Mario Kart. Um, I was looking at watching a few of these uh, Game Explain videos, uh, you know, their analysis. And uh, it, to me, it looks like a new Mario Kart, but... I don't know. We don't know. Mario Kart 9, hopefully. Um, get that out there. And I think they'll have Pikmin ready. Uh, yeah, Pikmin has been ready for a while now and got delayed and uh, canceled for the Wii U. So for sure it's going to be a ne uh, Nintendo Switch title. Um, I hope they, they got to port Super Smash Bros. And uh, maybe a Splatoon 2 from what it looked like in the trailer too. But those those games are most likely going to be revealed or talked about at this press event, um, and we already know Zelda is coming day one. That's a launch title. Now we don't know if Zelda and Mario will launch day one on the console, and maybe it will. Maybe uh, Nintendo's going to you know try to get a large audience or a large amount of people. You know, for the people who don't play Zelda but they play Mario. Uh, they will buy the console so they can play Mario, the new Mario game. And for those that don't play Mario but play Zelda, will buy the new console to play Zelda game. So you can get a large audience of people to buy your console day one if you offer them the choice between Zelda and Mario. And for me, I play both. So if they offer Zelda and Mario for day one launch, I'm getting both uh, for day one. Um, and the third-party lineup, uh, we'll see what they got, you know. Uh, but there's a lot of third-party support behind the Nintendo Switch, and at this point, it's only su you know support by word. But until these games start getting announced and start getting shown, which most likely will be shown uh, at the January 12th press event or around there, when third parties are finally able to show the games that they've been working on for the Nintendo Switch, I think uh, Nintendo is going to come out with a very strong uh, game library. Uh, but but only time will tell. And as far as the presentation, I think they're going to uh, do an old-fashioned uh, press conference, uh, more like an E3 conference where they you know they come out on stage and, and uh, they show it off and stuff like that. But they really want people to get their hands on it. Uh, they want the press and, and, you know, regular people to get their hands on it so they can really play it. And... Uh, it's, it was a little cryptic of something Kimishima said during his interview with uh, Bloomberg. But he said that they want people to get their hands on the Nintendo Switch and, and, and with the, the software so they can see what's so great about it. And I think it's because the Nintendo Switch is a powerful console and we're going to see this firsthand when... Uh, when they start showing it off in the live event, um, especially because he didn't want to get into the hardware or the specs of it, and I think it's because they're they're gonna really surprise people, and so I'm excited uh, for this press event. Other than that, uh, predictions wise, I don't I don't think there's gonna be other than showing off a new Mario, uh, new Splatoon, and maybe a few other surprise titles, maybe a Metroid, maybe we get a, a you know, Metroid reveal trailer, or that'd be amazing. Uh, cool new Metroid game in the style of Metro Prime, maybe. Uh, but other than that, any other games that can be revealed um, at this point, I, I'm not entirely sure. We still got two months until this live event. I'll be making more predictions as the time goes by. That sums up everything I have for this video. And uh, I will keep you guys up to date with any more news or anything else that comes out. Um, but let me know what you think down below in the comments and we'll have a great discussion of what we want to see at this uh, live event. That wraps it up for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on!